Hello and welcome to your fourth instructional physics video. I am Mr. Marquez, your physics teacher, and today we're going to talk about accelerate or displacement with constant acceleration. So let's take a minute to review a little bit of what we saw in the previous videos. We're going to talk a little bit about displacement, we're going to review velocity, acceleration, and see how all that comes into play with what we're going to see today. So we can say that the displacement in layman's terms, or as many definitions say, is the shortest distance between two points. So it's basically the shortest, because we are talking about, of course, uh, motion in one dimension. So we can say that displacement is the shortest distance between two points of an object that is moving. So we can call displacement as the difference uh, between um, two points, point B or minus point A, um, or the absolute value of A minus B. That's also another way of describing uh, displacement, but basically what a displacement is, is motion in one dimension, and it's basically the shortest distance between the two points in which an object is moving. We then talked about velocity, and we define velocity as a change in position over a change in time. In other words, a change in the displacement divided by how long or the time that it took to get from point A to point B. And in the previous video, we talked about acceleration, which we said was a change in velocity over a change in time. Now, acceleration occurs as velocity changes. So as, as velocity changes, um, and you divide that over how long it takes the velocity to change, we call that acceleration. But what we're actually going to talk about today is displacement with constant acceleration. But what is a constant acceleration? What can we call a constant acceleration? Well, one of the definitions given to us is that constant acceleration is um, when velocity is changing by a constant amount each second. So when velocity changes each second, now this can mean when um, an object is gaining acceleration, which means that the velocity is, uh, or there's an increment in velocity, or when it's slowing down and there's a decrease in velocity. So as velocity changes each second, whether it be that it's losing speed or gaining speed, uh, acceleration is constant. So we're going to talk about displacement when the acceleration is constant. Okay, and again, an acceleration is constant when the velocity changes every second, be it it gains speed or it loses speed. And I actually have a, a problem that um, from your textbook, which is actually on page 51 of your textbook. And the problem says, a race car reaches a speed of 42 meters per second. It then begins a uniform negative acceleration using a parachute and braking system and comes to rest at 5.5 seconds later. Find the distance the car travels during braking. So a car or a race car, you know, those drag race, uh, those dragsters, they usually have a parachute um, that helps them stop along with a braking system. They're not the only race cars that have um, this system, but those are the ones that come to mind uh, to me anyways. And they want to know how long or how far did the car travel or how much did the car travel while it was braking while it was slowing down. So the most important thing that we need to do is always find the information that we have and, and write that down and then look for what uh, the problem is asking us. So we do have the initial velocity of the car, which is 42 meters per second. That's how fast it was traveling. It says that the car comes to rest. Remember that whenever an object comes to rest or stops, that means that the velocity is zero. So in this case, the velocity, final velocity is zero meters per second. And the change in time is actually 5.5 seconds. And what they're asking us to find is the distance. So that would be our change in x. And we have the formula right here. So all we're going to do is just gonna, we're just going to plug them in. Um, and we're going to say that the change in x equals 1 half of the initial velocity, which is 42, plus the final velocity, which is 0, multiplied by the change in time, which is 5. Five. So what we're going to do is use our order of operations, right? And we're going to work with our multiplication first, then, um, or work with our parentheses. And 42 plus 0 is 42. And 42 plus 0 is 42. And 42 times 5.5 is 231. So we have that our change in x equals 1 half of 231. Again, 42 plus 0 is 42. 42 times 5.5 is 
31. Of course, this is um, what we have here is uh, to find the displacement. What we do now is multiply it by one half. Now, multiplying it by one half is actually the same thing as dividing by two. So in, the, in your calculator, you can either multiply 231 by 0 0.5 or you can just divide 231 by 2, which is actually 115.5 meters. Now, in your textbook, uh, they use the rules of significant figures and they're saying that because 42 has two significant figures, just as 5.5, they actually round that up to 120 meters. So. Um, the distance that the car actually traveled while it was braking is 120 meters. If you leave it at 115.5, that's not incorrect. It's just that this version of the physics book uses the rules of significant figures, which is 120. So let's say on a test you write 115.5 or 116 and not write 120. Um, that, again, is just uh, a thing of depending on the version of the book that you use and the rules of significant figures. Either, either answer is technically acceptable. Um, so once you're done with this, ladies and gentlemen, you're going to go to page 51 of your textbooks and you're going to answer problems 1 through 4. And we'll be back um, with our next video lesson shortly. So stay safe and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.